Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here with the week four team builder of the multi battle league season two. Of course, I'm here with my partner in crime, MV. You can say hi. What's poppin', guys? We are back once again to uh put ourselves to the test <laughs> <laughs> and uh see if we can, of course, with a combination of uh solid solidly decent plays and amazing outrageous luck, we can come through <laughs> in this league and uh, <laughs> take down everybody. <laughs> Straight up. Anyway, um, today our team, oh, well today we are playing versus the, uh, the Jamies, which consists of Jamie, Jamie and Jamie, and, and more Jamie. And, and Jamie. And, ja and oh yeah, Jamie, can't forget Jamie. All the <laughs> can't Jamies, forget that one. All the Jamies, oh, oh damn, you forgot Jamie. But uh, we got a link to them down below. They uh, actually beat us down last year with this uh, Fake Tears, Shadow Ball combination. Uh, Gengar, and, Mega Gengar. Yeah, Mega Gengar. And this year they have a bunch of threats too. They have uh, like Follow Me plus Porygon Z. They have like Fake Out plus Porygon Z. Superior that can set up on its own. They have Tyranitar plus, Sa uh, plus Excadrill. So Sand plus Drill. And even Victini, which is a massive threat. Uh, so yep. definitely a scary game going into it. Like, uh, I mean, and I were talking, and I think things have to go perfectly for us to. Like, best case scenario, they yeah. like Vitini, we get up Tailwind and we just Oko it immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, Porygon's gonna be a monster, but we have like a little surprise tech on our last Mon, as you guys will see. Uh, it surprises us too, because we don't even know if it'll work. Yeah, I know. On who like, hits. <laughs> they, they always seem to have like, like they, they have like a really, really solid matchup. Yeah, like, the yeah. team matchup-wise, it's, it's definitely in their favor, but yeah. we actually, we kind of have to see if we can sort yeah. of, like, I, I guess, out prep in, in a way. I feel like what Tailwind will be all right, though. Like, I, this team, and I still forget the last other team. What well, was the other team that has a really good matchup versus us? It's someone. Is them this and uh, another team that definitely has a good matchup versus us? Yeah, but it, this is this will be a fun game. This will be a fun game. So we're gonna go over the first team or the first member that we have. Uh, I do apologize by the way. It's a little bit early when Envy and I are recording this. Envy's birthday was yesterday, so you should say happy birthday, Envy, or happy related birthday in the comments. You should also go ahead and subscribe to him. The battles will be up on his channel at 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm pretty Thank sure. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, but anyway, we got Young Strong right here. We got Garchomp. Um, enough speed. Uh, to outspeed Victini, pre uh, yeah, um, Rock Team is really nice because it's a single target, so it can't be like wide guard or something. And mm -hmm. uh, we can Rock Tomb like uh, Yen Mega, Rotom Fan. Uh, also, slowing down Porygon Z or Victini is like on a balloon. Uh, Dragon Claw just gives us nice Dragon Staff or Dragalgi and whatnot, as well as hitting Superior for some decent damage, solid to a KO. And then we have Earthquake, which is really nice, especially if they bring Sand. Since they give us our sand force if we do mega. Uh, but I really do like Garchomp because it also gives us an electric immunity. As well as if they choose to bring like Porygon Z with electric. Uh, Ghost would also be pretty annoying. Honestly, yeah. I, mean, I, can't, I can't think of a Porygon that wouldn't be annoying. I think Ghost... Z, yeah, Z, Z conversion Porygon is definitely, I think, the biggest. Yeah, because all, all they need is Bolt Beam. Bolt Beam yeah. like, messes through us. So if I were them, even I'd if bring they have like Shadow Ball, yeah, even exactly. if they have like Z conversion yeah. to go Shadow Ball, it's gonna be so annoying. Yeah, I think all they need is like either Bolt Beam or like Shadow Ball Ice Beam or Shadow Ball Thunderbolt, just really, yeah. really strong versus us. Uh, but Garchomp still does match up pretty well, especially because they do have Sand. Uh, next up, we got Snack Wrap. You want to talk about it real quick? So we got here a nice Flyneum Z uh, Celesteela, which is pretty cool because I f uh, we felt like running an offensive Celesteela is gonna be nice, especially since. Um, if they have Pokemon like Drill, which um, you know Celesteela can uh, check really nicely, as well as Superior. Um, I, I feel like, and of course they also have Dragalgi or Dragalgi, which um, I just feel like Celesteela has a pretty solid matchup versus all like a lot of their mods. Yeah, naturally with, resisting with a lot. Covers that we have. Yeah, yeah exactly. And um, plus, like under Tailwind, it, it works really well, um, and it just hits really hard. Plus, we get like if we get like Beast Boosts with um, the special attack uh, Rising, it's going to be a mo much more of a threat. I feel. Yeah, it allows us to outspeed. Um... Pretty much their entire team out under Tailwind, or if not their entire yeah. team under Tailwind. Uh, and Stab Flying is really good for nabbing Victini, like a weakened Victini, and it only needs a little bit of chip damage to KO Victini. Um, hurting Blastoise, like Blastoise is really scary, I feel, as well. Um, because it also has access to like Fake Out and whatnot, or Follow mm -hmm. Me. I don't think it can have, it can't have Fake Out plus Follow Me on the same set, but it can have one or the other, which would be annoying if like on the side, even if it's Mega, like they don't have to Mega. So like, yeah. Like the things I'm scared of are 
mime plus setup mod on the other side or blastoise plus setup mod on the other side like because they didn't just follow, to follow me. me exactly yeah. follow me and set up and superior in itself just boosts which is why i feel like celestila was necessary um flash cannon allows us to hit tyranitar uh and flamethrower gives us uh damaging moves for extra drill um, extra drill and i guess if we don't want to miss air slash then we're yeah, like superior exactly Omega. exactly exactly and just giving us a ground immunity as well because they do have the auction extra drill and set isn't that bad versus us we do have a uh, beast boost we do have guard chomp we do have suicune but um Santa Stowe is not a bad idea especially give us they give them speed and it lets them outspeed our entire team so yeah and next up we have Jackie the Arcanine and uh, this is just a more offensive um variant of Jackie uh pretty much the same set we've always been running though Intimidate is really nice for buffering um Victini uh swapping between like extra and Tyranitar on a switch in just getting off that Intimidate allowing Celestia to better take them on if necessary um Flare Blitz hits, it's, it's just our main stab, you know, it hits extra drill superior, he hit Porygon pretty hard, uh, Wild Charge is nice for Blastoise, that's pretty much all it hits though, and then Extreme Speed just gives us some priority versus something like a weakened Porygon, uh, or maybe Mr. Mime, or anything like that, or like if we have to pop like a last ditch ever balloon or something for Garchomp to Earthquake, it's like something like that, like, yeah. Uh, and, and the Figgy Berry just lets us recover because we can eat hits from Superior, we can eat hits from Victini. If I were them though, I'd bring like Special Victini. I think, I feel like Special Victini is really good versus us. I mean, so is Physical Victini, but Special Victini with Psychic doesn't care about Intimidate. So, that's something I would bring, mm -hmm. rather. I don't know, do you think, yeah. do you think a bulky Arcanine would be better versus them? I feel like, um, like if we're running something like Tailwind, Arcanine could be good, especially since, um, it outruns Adamant Drill in the yeah. sand, yeah. and if they bring that and if we're under Tailwind, Arcanine's going to be faster than them, so exactly. I feel like that's going to be pretty useful. I, a bulkier Arcanine could work, I feel, but like, um, I feel like they just have a lot of faster, fast Yeah, exactly. Threats, and the th yeah. I feel like maybe can, if we set up Tailwind, it just works a lot better with, yeah. um, with Arcanine, maybe. I agree, and we also outspeed modest max speed uh, Mega Blastoise which is good to note because this can KO with like wild charge can KO with like a little bit of chip damage from like dragon claw or something um so that's solid for arcanine you want to talk about boost real quick you got buzzle here nice beast boost got here uh three attacks with protect of course it's uh always gonna be like it, it, i mean it, it, we just found like buzzle so so useful just running three coverage moves that can hit like a lot like pretty much the entirety of their team yeah uh, leech life being able to take down stuff like superior really easily um as well as uh it's able to like it, we can get some health back if we need to versus certain pokemon um superpower is just all around nice hits blastoise hard um it hits a drill t-tar and um we also have stone edge which is great with the rocky mz because um you know, just in case, maybe they bring like Protect on Mega if they like, if they, maybe they they have like Speed Boost or something. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that uh, that's gonna do a ton to that. It also hits Rotom Fan and um, mainly yeah, even Victini as well. Yeah, exactly. So it's gonna hit Victini really hard, especially after the uh, Tailwind. So uh, like being able to outrun it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, originally we had Ice Punch, but we figured Rocky MZ. Originally we had Ice Punch Fighting MZ, but we figured Rocky MZ is smarter because that way we don't have to risk Stone Edge, and it also just hits really hard at neutral versus most mons. And again, enough speed to outspeed uh, Modest Max Speed Blast, if I'm not mistaken, MV? Yeah, correct, correct. Just in case they're running some like, fast yeah. like offensive Blastoise. Yeah, because we were thinking about a Trick Room option versus them, which isn't like bad at all, but it's really tough, I feel, for... Um, I feel like it's really tough for Malamar to set up Trick Room versus them yeah it depends like versus each pokemon like if they like literally lead victini we'll probably get oko <laughs> exactly exactly they can go for u-turn or v create we'd actually get oko which is why yeah uh, it'd be tougher but um we also had the um we were talking about what was it called like curse curse rest talk licky licky or something like that but yeah we, i was thinking we, like, we were thinking about that um but like because they have a lot of power on their team, and if they just double target, it's going to be really tough trying to set up curses and rest. Exactly, off, and then like, we got to play with rest talk yeah. and sleep talk as and well. Yeah, yeah. So definitely be, definitely be tougher for us. I feel if mm -hmm. we, uh, I don't know if, if, if we went down, yeah, if we went down yeah. that road. But next up, we have Suicune. Uh, Suicune sets up Tailwind, pretty much allowing us to outspeed uh, all their team at plus two. We don't even have to worry about plus one. Um, Porygon Z, which is obviously Z conversion, ends up doing plus one all stats. Uh, Excadrill does outspeed us, but we do have Celestilla, 
We have Intimidate on Arcanine. Suicune's gonna eat a hit anyway because the best move we could do is like spread move. Um, yeah. Spread move Earthquake like or like Groudy MZ. Exactly, and Buzz will, Buzz will eat up any hit. But Scald Ice Beam, just best coverage. Uh, Scald obviously burning and being able to hit Tyranitar and Extra Drill where Ice Beam hits a Pokemon like Superior. As well as your Galaxy exactly. decent damage. And, we, and even the Rotom fan. Yeah, exactly. And we went for like a more bulkier spread. Uh, max HP allows us, again, to take on just Sand better. Can also live a Leaf Storm from Superior, which is something we were going for as well. And what was the uh, speed benchmark for again? Uh, just in case they bring like like max speed Tita or something. Yeah, because I, I guess that could be possible if they want to bring that versus like uh, maybe like a max speed Tar with like maybe Fire Blast or Ice Beam or something. Yeah, like, or like max speed Choice Band Tar or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Could also be really cool. So being fast and that is smart. Uh, that way we can hit them with the uh, Scald. Now, why don't you tell them about the next month? <laughs> We got here, Crate Dilly coming back once again after saving us in that last game. You know, we gotta gotta keep him off the bench until uh, we find another better option. But I think Crate Dilly is so cool because um, versus their team, it, like our team mainly, it acts really offensively. So Crate Dilly fits in that way because we're running an offensive set with a like a special attacking set. Yeah. But it, with the assault vest, it's able to sponge things up. Like for instance, it can sponge Porygon's hit even at like plus one, like a plus one ice beam. It lead it up, and we got like mirror coat. So if that thing is at full. Um, <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be messing around here with mirror code bouncing their stuff back and I feel like like with the coverage that it has with ancient power giga drain earth power it hits pretty much everything on their team um, super effectively or at least like, really effectively except for maybe superior which mirror code can do well versus yeah exactly uh, we're not 100 percent sure how mirror work works mirror code works in double since you don't target in particular yeah <laughs> so we're a little bit excited because uh, we tested but I don't know. We found that it should the, be fun, dude. Yeah, it should definitely be. No, it'll definitely be a fun game. Like, I'm definitely uh, excited to play. Um, the fact that they have Sandstorm as well also boosts our credibility to death. So, this is really nice for checking, like, yeah, Mega, Dragalgi, and whatnot, Mime, uh, Porygon. But, uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, the battle will be on MV's channel at 3 p.m. Eastern. You guys should go ahead and subscribe to him. His link is down below. And also go ahead and tell him happy birthday. Because, like I said, his birthday was yesterday. He turned 37. And uh, hello, <laughs> 37. I'm not, I'm not gem bad out here. Hello, <laughs> or chimpact, chimpact's 37. Sure, it's like 37. Are we gonna go over the uh, the, uh, like the two months that we're gonna bring his decoys or not? Uh, we we can, I didn't have them on the screen, but you can talk about them. Oh, yeah, so we're just gonna bring like Malamar and um, Licky Lickies just so that they can think that we're bringing Trick Room and maybe they won't want to bring Trick Room. I guess. Uh, I mean, their trick rumor is what, Mr. Mime, which is way better as just a support mom would follow me and yeah, fake out and so. whatnot. It's just to make sure that we can, I guess, fully use the effect of Tailwind to our fullest potential. No, I gotta understand that. But, yeah, yeah in any case, guys, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys all, you know, enjoyed and whatnot and rooting for Team Skull. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.